Hi, in this uh, session we will see how to create an interactive LV report. As in the previous session, we have seen how to implement a user command and we have seen how to call the transaction ME23 and on double click on the field of EBLN. So let's uh, have a look at the previous session. What we have done in this purchase order little report, whenever we click on any field, so we have called ME23 and by passing that purchase order number. So in this uh, session, we will see in detail how to develop an interactive LV report. So we will see three methods like first on double click of the purchase order number, we will call the transaction code ME23N. Second, on double click of any other field, on the any other field, we will display a secondary list. And third, we will see how to call or different report by using the submit uh, statement. So like this, we will see the method of calling a transaction code, displaying the secondary list and using of the submit method and parameter ID. What is the parameter ID? That we will see in this session. Now, first go to our report that we have created earlier. That is ZDemo underscore P underscore report. Okay. First, let me add, add one EP, ELP field on the screen. S underscore EPLP for EKPO. This is for the purchase order line item number. Save, check, and activate. Go to tax element. EPLP. Go back. Add this in the select query. EPELP in S underscore EPELP okay now as you already implemented the user command in the previous session okay so here in the form routing of user command whenever user double click on the list so we are reading that internal table into the work area okay using that index so here currently I have not checked like on which field user has clicked. Okay. So here we will add the field name as EPLN. So currently we will see how it's working. Put a breakpoint here. Execute. Execute. Now let's say I'm double click on the PO date. So here in the EBLN number, I am getting the purchase order number. But on which field user has <coughs> clicked? To know that, go to the RS cell field. Here we can see the field name as A E date. Okay, so we will add that logic here. Go back. Now, if the purchase order is not initial, and rs underscore cell field field name equal to epeln then only call transition okay if you click on any other field system will not will not call the me23 and transition code now we'll see what will happen check and activate Execute, execute. See now if you click on purchase order number, this is called the ME23N. But if I click any other field, system will not do anything. So go back. <coughs> now, second, we will see how to display a secondary list. Okay. So for that, first <coughs> create a field catalog. So what we'll do? As we have already actually we are already displaying the purchase order header and line item in the same report but in real time there might be scenario like in the basic list you have only the purchase order header information and on the double click of any purchase order number 
then you have to display the line item details okay so for time being in the same report we will display the another report so let me add one more internal table like gt underscore list one type is internal table of tp underscore list <coughs> for field catalog define one more field catalog let's say this is gt underscore fcat one count one so what we have done first we have defined one more internal table for displaying the second list then we have defined we have done a data expression for the field catalog details now go to user command add one more if condition here else if gs underscore list ebln is not initial so here we can write any logic then we can display the secondary list okay so what we'll do as all the details we already having in our uh, report so we'll do gt underscore list body equal to gs underscore list body in real time you can write any logic here now delete gt underscore list one where epln not equal to this purchase order number so we'll display only the purchase order details on which user has clicked okay so here perform display view underscore item <coughs> double click here yes create in the same report now here add the field catalog details <coughs> so here in this form routine add the secondary list field catalog details okay first go back adding here okay it is a little gs just okay gt underscore list i have to use double click on view item here add the field catalog for the secondary list so let me add the field catalog for the line item details. Like I'm using GV underscore count one and the field catalog one. So I will be displaying the purchase order number, the PO item, material code, material text, quantity. Okay. And just like the basic report in the secondary report, but I, here I will pass in the GT underscore list one. Okay. The main report we have GT underscore list. For secondary report, I am using the GT underscore list one table. <coughs> Save check, activate, execute, execute. Now if I double click here, this will call the ME23N and if I double click here, this will call the secondary list. Let me click on some other, see we can see the multiple line items. So this is displaying the particular PO on which report we have clicked. Okay, so like this way we can display the secondary report from the basic reports. So in this way we have seen how to use a call transition method. Second, we have seen how to display the secondary list. Now we will see how to use the submit method for calling a report. Now suppose there is a requirement like instead of uh, basic list instead of calling the secondary list we want to call some other report so in that case we can use the uh, make use of submit method so for that go to our coding first so here let's say
if my purchase order number is not initial and the user has click on the EP ELP field okay here I'm comparing the field name okay then what we'll do we'll call one, one more report so for testing we'll use the same report how to use submit syntax submit the report name with the selection parameter which you uh, which you want to pass so in this report I have the selection parameter as s underscore epln as this is select options so I have to pass the range and epln second I will be passing one more parameter like s underscore epelp between epelp and js underscore list epelp and return so what this will do js underscore list okay this is the epelp EPLP now what we'll do when we click on the purchase order line item number so this will uh, this code will call one another report by passing those two <coughs> parameter values and once you click on back we'll get back to the same report is it cute that is cute now if I double click here see this is calling the complete purchase order number but here if I'm double, double click on the line item number I'm clicking on line item number 20 so we can see only that particular line item is called not the other details okay so depending on the business requirement we can decide whether to use the call transition method or whether to use the submit uh, report okay and not necessary and some and we can also make use of calling a secondary list so depending on the business requirement we can use uh, we can use the interactive report concept now in this way we have seen how to use call transition display secondary list and submit method okay now parameter id what is parameter id let's go some detail now see when we, uh, when we call the transition me 23 n here we have passed the parameter id as bes so i already uh, shown in the previous session but again just let's have a look at that so go to transition code me23n so here we have to pass the purchase order number right let's say i want to display some other purchase order number okay so how to this pass this purchase order number dynamically for that click on click here press the F1 button go to technical information so from here we can note down the parameter ID which you have to pass okay then some other code what we have to do we have to use set parameter ID that value and the field and the field value which you want to set and then call transition ma23n so in this way we can uh, set the parameter ID and one more uh, thing we'll see like how what is the hot spot okay so like here we are double clicking on the particular field but if you want to achieve that in a single click for that there is a method called hot spot add this in the field catalog hot spot equal to x let's see what is the impact of this in the field catalog if we add the syntax as hotspot equal to x so we can see your hand icon and underline this means we don't have to double click on this field okay just click here so on single click it will work so this is generally used to show a column as this column has a link okay like here we don't know where to click so sometime suppose depending on the business field name 
if you want to view the hyperlink so we make we make use of hotspot just to show the user like this field has some link on that okay so in this way we can also use the hotspot concept in ALV reports so like this we have uh, finished our next session of making of impact to ALV report in this video i'm just showing you conceptual knowledge okay like how to make the basic reports in real time you might have different logic but the concept will be same for calling a transaction for displaying the secondary list for submitting the report okay so we'll see in next session with some more uh, different scenarios okay thank you